Guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left-hand corner, we have BS Almighty as the Red Terran. If he wins this, he advances to the round of four. I'm curious if he's going to face Agistal, or I'm trying to remember other advancers across my brain. <laughs> I'm losing it right here. Bottom right-hand corner is Snipe. I feel like I gave uh, Agistal a hard time in earlier matches, but I want to give this to him. He wins. And as a, as a result, and he knows how to win, as a result, I think I'm going to call him to be my favorite to win Chobo League this season. Oops, a little bit of a mic toss. And speaking of BSL and Chobo League, be sure to check out Season 12, which is already underway. Pro League and Gosu League are in full swing. And a lot of fun competitors. Machine, who I featured several times in the channel, is currently in Gosu League looking to get into the, the Pro League. Uh, if you haven't already caught... Jayun's games, I featured him as well, and before I continue, we are seeing a pylon sneakily at the 9 o'clock location. Which means, from Snipe, we're going to see some form of cheese. We'll see what it is. And now I want to see uh, how Mighty's Wall ends up standing up to this sort of early game pressure. I'm wondering if Snipe e might, Laser Snipe might have even observed this is definitely going to be the uh, 910 gate, probably. Um, or 99 gate? 99 <laughs> nine gate. Double gate. Double gate opener. Yeah, barracks on that wide corner. Sending out an SCV scout now. Probe scout making its way across. And here's the thing My, this is a two player map. It's still decently large. But with this probe scout here, there is an opportunity for that probe to sneak around and create some disruption and also the refineries being so no no gas deal which is would have been kind of icing on the cake for snipe opening with this but yeah now in position to go ahead and prevent this front door from fully being blockaded and this is actually oh and putting the pylon in the way that is genius i honestly think mighty's in a lot of trouble here because first of all marines are going to spawn and i think mighty yeah absolutely knows what's up pulling scvs off the line but might do something counter. He's got this sneaky SCV inside snipe space. I'm curious if he's going to try to do... I don't know what he would do, honestly. But he's in a lot of trouble. Because Marines spawn right there. And you can see where Zealots getting on top of that would be a disaster. Plus, they're having misfire against that pylon inside this corner. First Zealot on the scene. SCV backing off. Two Marines. One already dead. Wow. Wow. Was that a one-shot? What happened there? Did the probe... The probe must have done some work earlier that I missed. Zealot getting blockaded. Another on the way. Still able to get on top of the Marine. Another death. Things not looking good for Mighty. Another one getting attacked. And honestly, I feel like this Zealot is going to be able to just wander straight up with everything out of position. If he just camps right there, that is where the Marines are spawning. And they will be able to pin them in, do a lot of damage before they're able to sneak in. Bunker desperately under construction, trying to block these the rest of these Zealots out. That's a lot of resources to spend right off the bat here, though. Zealot being taken off there, and I think this Marine should be able to... Does get in the bunker. So at least this is this area is safe for Mighty. However, now this Supply Depot, and I, I want him to move back over to that barracks. Just move right. Take the barracks out. Looks like what he's hoping to do is maybe Supply Cap Mighty, and will be able to do so. The barracks, li okay. the barracks is lifted off. So no additional... Marines are going to be able to be produced here. Factory's on the way. Once the Vulture comes out, that will disrupt these Zelts. The Zelts taking a lot of free damage as they're trying to take out as many SCVs as possible. Once six Zelts are in here, honestly, with four Zelts, with the right micro, you can get away with this. But they've been a lot of them have been heavily damaged. I think Snipe just trying to shuffle a little bit. Mighty's still at 15 supplies. So even if this Factory produces, he's not going to be able to, to get a Vulture out. Trying to sneak through leaving a handful of these Zelts behind, has stopped that factory from being up built. A supply depot being built in that back corner. One Marine trying to sneak out. And Micro is way against this. And now all of the Zelts coming out. Are they going to turn around and go for it? They're, the Marines running back to the protective ring. Honestly, with enough Zealots, I feel like Snipe could just run this down nevertheless. He has produced an assimilator and gotten a cybernetic score in the meantime. And I'm wondering if he is getting... Planning on getting some Dragoons. 
to counter any Vulture that might be produced. Vulture is on the way. Do we have Dragoons? No, no Dragoon yet. And five Zealots pulling back to the ramp. Now, here's the thing. Vultures can out Micro Zealots. They've got that range. Still no Dragoon being produced. So this is five Zealots that might be sitting ducks here. And actually... Interesting decision. So one picked off as it's making its way across. Mighty is actually going to walk straight by, or I guess glide straight by, with that vulture. And maybe, yeah, head directly to the undefended base of Snipe. Snipe planting down a forge, Citadel of a Dune. He's going for DTs at this stage. Machine shot being placed down. And it looks like Mighty has winded the initial storm. And cancellation of the cannon right there. Vulture is there. Now the cannon warping in. I'm wondering if that was a misclick. Probe's trying to come off the line. They do get a surround. Briefly on that Vulture. Forcing that Vulture to micro. But that's four kills already. Keep in mind, one of those was a Zealot. Cannon is only halfway. So with this, Mighty is evening the odds up. Cannon just now warping in. And now we basically have kind of a mirror matchup both sides. But we do have this Templar Archive sneakily in the corner. Mighty sees it coming. How is he going to respond? He needs to get... And I like this play from Snipe because that's going to force an Engineering Bay. Perhaps something else on his side of the map. Getting an Engineering Bay down. And that's more resources he doesn't want to spend on precisely this. Still no Dragoons from these gateways, though. Critically. And now, yeah, you can see the Vultures just laughing and concussive cannoning away. That SCV trying to build that engineering bay is a little bit vulnerable. Two vultures out. I'm going to give this to Mighty at this stage. And I'm wondering if we're going to see a GG momentarily. A zealot making his way back across. This vulture still able to find a corner position. And now Mighty building a supply depot and a barracks inside Laser Snipe's base. <laughs> I love it. I love it. The zealot's going to see it, but what can he do about it? And he's blockaded out by that Supply Depot. Yeah, this is Mighty's game to lose here. Mines are finished. So, with a handful of mines, these Dark Templar are not going to be able to sneak through. Maybe with a lucky Mind Drag. These Dark Templar might win the game. For Snipe. But they need to be, se they need to be segregated, and they need to follow the exact same path here. Okay, there. Two mines. Oh, is he going to go across? Oh! That's it. I don't think he can get across. Yeah, he can't make it up the ramp anymore. Maybe one more round of DTs to try this. There's one more Dark Templar. But honestly, I think this is too many mines in the way. Somehow, the Zealot managed to sneak up and get that Vulture kill with that distraction. And force a cancellation or take out this Supply Depot. These are the mat This is the thing. These are the matches you only see in Chobo League, which is one of the reasons I love casting it. Mighty sealing up his front door, getting a Command Center. And all of a sudden, this is turning into some odd mid-game macro fight. Another Dark, Templ uh, another Dark Templar being produced. And another Dark Templar down to just 10 health. Academy on its way as well. Barracks floating out just to do some scouting. So two barracks on the ground. So let's go ahead and we're going to take stock here. More vultures. How did the vultures even get in here? Okay, cannon's still in the way, but there's been more probe kills. Laser Snipe is just... Yeah, his front door has been completely breached. It seems like this entire time that cannon not covering everything. So these four mineral piles are blockaded out. 15 probes for Laser Snipe. No natural expansion. He does have three gateways, but doesn't have quite the probes to fully produce out of them. Does have a Templar Archives, so can produce some units in that regard. Finally producing some Dragoons. He still has these two gateways up. That has not been found by Mighty. Or taken out. And I'm almost wondering if Mighty's using this barracks to maybe float and do some scouting. He's going to lose the supply depot, but that's okay. Getting that command center up, which is going to provide a bit of floating supply. Plus, that's going to allow him to double produce SCVs to get that that, uh, that macro count up. Might even just opt to do that inside of his base. He's getting more factories. So I think it's kind of interesting building the command center and then going from there. The Dragoons on the low ground. With one good scan and enough units, he should be able to clear out the natural. This is very risky. Just moving out with 
trying to plant these without the usually with speed you can pull this sort of moon route still works out for him and gets a dragoon and actually this dragoon's on low enough health that he should be able to wipe it out and not being able to land here because this dark templar is in the way <laughs> nice play from laser snipe he's like okay these dark templar are not going to be able to make this happen a good mind drag actually clearing out any sort of defense on the front however this is also a huge signal to mighty that all he has to do is give one good comsat here and as long as he has enough attack units in position, he will be able to kill that Dark Templar with one fell swoop. Sneaky probe here at the 6 o'clock location. I think what Laser Snipe is opting to do is go for two quick nexuses. Nexi? Nexus. <laughs> Never know the plural. He's going to try to get two additional nexuses. One at his natural expansion. One at the 6 o'clock position. To jump ahead in economy. And try to sneak the game there. Just finishing range. There's the scan. Dark Templar, yeah, instantly wiped out. So now Mighty sitting on two bases. Snipe is sitting on what will be three momentarily, which theoretically gives an overall advantage to Snipe. But this is two stranded gateways, only one gateway in the main, and that's only three bases produ that's only three gateways producing overall. Versus three factories. And there's still four, three marines in this bunker. So, and this is a lot of vultures making it, making their way to the natural expansion, which I do not think Laser Snipe can defend. Dark Templar making its way across. Laser Snipe trying to rely on Dark Templar. Mines planted. Taking out one Dragoon. Probes trying to defend themselves on this line. The Dark Templar has to sit there and make sure that these vultures can't just sneak by and go to the main. I think a Dark Templar just died on mines. No, it's just sitting in the middle of the map to provide scouting information. The barracks floating back across. So this is actually technically two barracks if there was suddenly just a, a push of tech switch for Mighty. He needs a lot more Dragoons and he needs them now to stop these Vultures from doing what they're doing. Or maybe if he got some Dark Templar in position and blockaded that ramp with like a whole position there, Pylons would do it too. Now they're able to just walk. Wow. Probe's coming off the line. Mind drag. That was really heads up on Laser Snipe's part to pull it away from the probe line. So it wasn't an absolute disaster. And here's the thing. There's still no robo... Anywhere. He's trying to mind drag into those vultures. Didn't happen that time. Finally, two... Wow. It's going to be a while before these two Dragoons are in position to do anything, though. And in the meantime, Snipe's natural expansion has mines every... How many mines is this? That's six... That six mines spread sporadically across what should be laser snipe space. And that's more units starting to make their way towards laser snipe space. Another DT, another zealot being produced. Six o'clock base is, you know, barely producing here. Dragoons able to mine drag into the rest of these vultures to at least clear this out. But that is not going to be enough to stop Mighty with his mighty army making his way across. Half the supply currently. And just as the probes are making their way back to the natural expansion, nope, got to go back home and are going to explode in glorious blue flame for their efforts. And all sorts of mines planted now, just in case those ETs do spawn. Pylon is being worked on. That's the only pylon powering those gates. There is a Dark Templar working on those siege tanks in this back corner, but it's just up to Mighty to just detect this, and that should be that. Mine exploding and actually not even catching the siege tank there. And another... Wow, with the last bit of detection. There's GG from Laser Snipe. So Mighty will advance to the round of four. Oof, and that was a... Mm, that was an interesting one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So I will, from here, I think I'm going to keep casting because that was a fun one. I feel energized. So we're going to move on. Congratulations to Mighty. He will advance to the round of four. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.